So the Enhancing Digital Teaching and Learning project initially was focused on professional development for academic staff and all staff who were involved in teaching students. And we originally started with a number of pilots, workshops for staff on different aspects of technology, which would have been different within each university. But the project really came into its own when COVID hit. And we came together as a team to produce resources for staff who were really struggling with how they could continue to teach and engage students in the online environment. Digital teaching and learning is, is obviously here to stay. Uh, and it, it's not an either or. It's not a, you know, a, a, a non-digital versus digital. I think we're, we're in very much a, a blended world. Our IUA strategy reflects that in, in, in that uh, the changing environment for both students and staff uh, is very much uh, front and centre. So this project, I think, has a, a really important uh, trigger effect in, in that process of change. We have seven universities in the project and they're all different and they all have strengths in different areas. So obviously it's important when we work together that they build on those strengths and they can share them. Uh, not everybody can do everything, but we can learn from each other. Over time, it has become more apparent that each of the universities has more in common than they have differences. They're each very individual, but at the same time, each university is facing the same types of uh, challenges um, and concerns. The project really has allowed us to speak at a national level about some of those particular concerns. We took the position early on that students had to be an integral part of the project and there were student interns at every step of the way and they added a huge amount both individually within their universities but collectively as a team and actually developed a whole load of additional resources that we wouldn't have done otherwise. In teaching we have the teaching staff then in learning we have the students. So the students are active stakeholders in the, in, the, in the process of teaching and learning. So it only makes sense that you have an undergraduate student who is experiencing that life at that particular moment just to come in and uh, bring in their perspective and bring in their authentic voices and their lived experiences because times change. Both the students working on the project were able to see each other's experiences, learn from each other and also collaborate on what are the common issues, the common things that students come up against and how we could adapt and use those issues to really improve teaching and learning. And then for the students within those universities it meant things coming out of the project were not just specific to an institution, had broad, broad appeal and also that in those individual institutions, we could really focus in on what their issues were and how to address them. So in terms of the legacy of the project, two of the things that were very much highlighted were the collaboration. The project has really supported the collaboration right across the universities. We would love to see that being continued into the future to ensure that the universities will continue to come together to solve the common problems that exist. The second area is around student partnership. We've had a really authentic approach to student partnership and I think part of that is because we recruited some really good students, some really engaged students to work with us. We made sure that they were paid and valued for the contributions that they have made and I would love to see that student partnership being continued and copied, I suppose, into the future um, and into future sectoral projects because I think that we cannot continue to, to develop in terms of teaching and learning without having the student voice properly represented.